I'm Jamie Whitworth and I'm the game director on the assembly. When we released the game earlier this year for Vive and Oculus, we kept close on the community. We were pleased that many VR gamers really enjoyed their time at the assembly, but we discovered and understandably that many Vive users were disappointed by the lack of motion controller support. Motion controllers really shook up the world of VR during the assembly's development, and to be honest, we weren't expecting that to happen so soon. We've taken those criticisms to heart and we're pleased to announce that motion controller support is coming to the assembly, not just for HTC Vive, but for Oculus Touch and for PlayStation Move as well. What's more, it should be ready or very nearly ready to download by the time you watch this video. Firstly, whichever platform you're playing on, you'll see the motion controllers as your hands in the VR world. Furthermore, you'll be able to reach out and pick up key objects in the world, inspect them closely and appreciate the finer details of the assembly. Motion controllers can be used as pointers, allowing you to select and interact with items in the world and options on menus. All other controls have also been carried across, so you can now use motion controllers to reverse around the environment. Simply point to where you want to go and blink there in an instant. Finally, we've enhanced the ability for the assembly to work as a room scale experience, the coupling look direction from forward movement. We didn't meet everyone's expectations the first time around, so we want to be absolutely clear about what we have been able to do in this patch for the assembly. Due to the way in which the game's underlying systems have been built, we are unable to add fully dynamic physics into the game. This means that you won't be able to throw items you have picked up or leave doors ajar. Even so, we're pleased with how we've managed to extend the game's core feature set and give users the option to play the assembly using motion controllers and in room scale. As a developer, we have to take risks and follow through on ideas, knowing full well that the industry could supersede us at any moment. We love and believe in VR. It's an astonishing medium that we want to remain at the forefront of, and we hope that this patch goes some way to addressing those ambitions. Motion controller support is coming to the assembly on Tuesday 22nd of November for HTC Vive, with support for Oculus Touch and PlayStation Move coming before the end of December. We'd love to hear your thoughts and impressions on this update. Please let us know through the Steam or Oculus forums or through Facebook, Twitter or Reddit.